Morning, everybody. Good morning. This is Sarah and Miss Bruce, and we welcome you to St. James United Church, our Sunday school room. And it's post Christmas, it's after Christmas, and the kids are back at school. I know they've been learning online. You've been seeing the computers going like crazy. Yes, I know. People complaining about internet and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, we see folks coming in again. We got Annie and Ayla are coming in as usual. Always good to see them. And here's Gray zooming in. Jaden and Ezra, brothers, and Lawson and Oliver, also brothers and cousins, right. Charlotte and Abigail are here, and so is Johnny and Izzy, and their Grandma Pat and Grandpa David, and uh, we're so glad to see uh, Karen out there as well. So everybody, welcome, and we're going to start today. Uh, we're going to go uh, talking ag again about the, the wise men a little bit. But our first song is about God so loved. God so loved Jesus that he took care of him. And we'll see what happened in our story today. Okay, I think we got her. This is a fun one, easy. Pop your hands. today and you're going to see the camels are there like last time and the three wise men and then we've also got Mary and Joseph in the front with the baby Jesus and we're going to be a, doing a traveling story today so I'll just flip our words and we'll go back a little bit to the story of the three wise men so if you come in close you can see this the three wise men were uh, learned people, astronomers. They knew a lot about the stars, so they were following the bright star. And they came to the town of Jerusalem, where King Herod was. And they told King Herod that a new king had been born. Well, King Herod hadn't heard about that. He didn't like the idea of there being another king uh, in the area. So he told the wise men, um, I'll get my learned people to speak to me about this, which he did. And he found out that the baby was born in Bethlehem and Bethlehem was not very far away. So he told the wise men when they visited the baby to come back and tell him where the baby was. So the wise men thought they would do that. So they got on their camels again and they followed the star to Bethlehem where they found Mary and Joseph. There they are. And when they went inside, we don't see the star then, and they gave their gifts of gold, incense, and perfume that we talked about last day. These are the most precious gifts that they could possibly give. So they were um, going to go back, uh, but it took a few days to get back to uh, Jerusalem. And before they started out, a dream came to them. God sent them a dream to say, that it was not safe for them to go back and tell Herod. So they went another way. They traveled another way, and, <clears throat> and Herod never did see them again. And another person had a dream. An angel came in the night to Joseph and told Joseph that it was not safe for them to stay any longer. So Joseph got Mary up in the middle of the night and told her, you can see she's quite shocked, that a dream had come to him that uh, that God had sent an angel with the message that they had to go to 
another land. So they, they got up that night and they headed out. They didn't have <coughs> very many belongings, so they just traveled again, mostly by foot, and they went down to down south to Egypt. So this is a little bit bigger map than what I have been showing you. So here we've got Jerusalem, and they would have traveled over into this north um, east corner of Africa, and that is Egypt, where they would be safe. So our lesson today from uh, the Bible, it's from the Old Testament, and it's from one of the smallest books in the Old Testament, and it says, the Lord your God is with you, and that's from Zephaniah uh, 3.17. So I looked up Zephaniah because it's not a book of the Bible that I'm very familiar with. It's right here. It's at the end of the Old Testament. So it's, um, it's between uh, Micah and Habakkuk and it ends with Zechariah. And then we get to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, which we're more familiar with. This little book of Zephaniah is only three chapters long, which is just about a page in here. So it would be fun to go into it and read about it and learn something about this um, this uh, book of the Bible that we're not that familiar with. So it's at the end of the Old Testament. Okay. Uh, I thought today that we would do something with the idea of the gifts that the wise men brought. So I brought some of my spices from home and some cotton balls. And the idea is that we're going to put some of these spices on a cotton ball put it inside a bag, and then we're going to make a game out of this. So it's a sniff test to see if you can, if you can detect what the smell is of that particular item on the, on the cotton ball. So you can either dip the ball in or, put, or sponge it all on, and then you can put a little bit of this either by sprinkling it on or using a plastic spoon. And this one is cinnamon, and we've used cinnamon in some of the, um, the recipes that we used earlier and it has a wonderful smell a lot of people put it in coffee and cookies and all kinds of things so put that in there and you can smell it that's cinnamon and we will have to end up maybe marking these with a number or something we'll see what we do this one has another strong fragrance this is garlic so again I think it's easier if you just dip your cotton ball in the water Sprinkle a little bit of garlic on. Ooh, it smells great. Reminds me of roasted vegetables. So again, get a little bag, stick it in there. And you can look through your spices with uh, your mom or grandma or grandpa, dad, and decide which ones have the stronger scent to them that you think you can detect what that is afterward. So another one that is a good idea would be vinegar. So vinegar is a liquid, but it's got a very strong smell to it. So we just dab a bit of that on. And, yep, smells like vinegar. So when I think of vinegar, I think of maybe putting it on french fries with some salt, always good. So it's hard to detect the entrance to the bag. So anyway, not finding it. <laughs> Here it is, okay, there we go. So you, we can do this with other spices. I looked at uh, curry, and also if you've got some curf uh, perfume or cologne, you could spray that on a cotton ball. You need to put them all into something so that you can't see the color, because right away, if you saw that it was brown, you'd know that that one would be cinnamon. So we're putting these in here, and then have a game of it, and decide, you know, by smelling, which one it is you can detect. So that's a kind of a fun little sniff game you can do today or this week. I thought I would uh, just extend the story once again about the wise men. And I have a picture over here again. We looked at this one last, last day of the wise men uh, with a star looking for the baby Jesus. And here's a little bit extension to that story. Now Joseph also had a dream, telling him that Mary, Jesus, and he must leave the country, for there was great danger for them. So Joseph and Mary packed up their few belongings and the baby and quickly journeyed into a nearby country called Egypt, where Herod could not hurt them. 
It was there that this little family lived until the wicked King Herod died. Then they returned to their own land and they went back to the little town of Nazareth where Joseph and Mary lived before Jesus was born. Here in a very small home, Jesus grew up helping his father in the carpenter shop and getting ready for the many great things he was to do when he became a man. So next week, we will look at Jesus as a little boy and uh, some of the things that he did as he grew up with uh, Joseph and learned about carpentry and learned about uh, the message from God uh, that he was to bring you know, love to the world. So we're going to think about um, our Bible verse today that said that we will not be alone, that God is with us. So God is with us wherever we are. If we're in front of our computers doing our schoolwork, if we're in the kitchen helping mom or grandma with the food, if we're over in the park uh, running around and having some fun, God is always with us. So our prayer today is, I'm so glad that God is with me wherever I go. Dear God, thank you for always being with us. Thank you for being with us here at St. James in our Sunday school room and Waterdown and wherever we may go. In Jesus' name, amen. So that's all for today from Miss Ruth, and we'll see you back here next Sunday. Have a great week.